Hello and welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at view at print size. So this is a brand new feature inside of Rebel 8. And what you can do is you can see what the size of your canvas will look like in real life on your monitor. Let's go to view and then down to view at print size. Now I've done this already, so this is not going to give me this option. So we're going to go to edit preferences at the bottom of the general tab you're going to see display ppi calibration uh, so you can detect your display mine has already been detected 2880 by 1920 and we're going to choose calibrate now this is set to centimeters and when i started mine looked kind of like this that is not even remotely close to the length of a centimeter and this bar here at the bottom, this is a ruler and it should match a ruler in real life. I'm from the United States and we are doing things the old way with inches. So I am fortunate I have a part of my body that is exactly three and a quarter inches long. So I can use that for measurement. So I put my middle finger up next to the screen and I measure out three and a quarter inches. Notice that my PPI on the right, 26.80 adjusted. As I click along this option here, show none, A4, A5, B4, and B5, this is going to show if you have an A4 piece of paper and you set it along the screen, you can see right here, A4 has been marked in blue on the ruler. That would be from the zero mark on the left all the way to this blue mark here on the right that says A4 this display should be wide enough where that matches the same length as an A4 piece of paper, a five piece of paper, which is shorter, B4 and B5. And so you can use those as another way of measuring if you don't have a ruler. Okay, so we're going to resize this. Perfect. And click OK. Now, if you need to do this in the future, again, we just clicked on the Calibrate option. Now, while we're here, we're going to click on Color Management. We've selected Vivid as the default profile. The current profile is sRGB. So let's look at how to change that. We're going to click OK. We're going to choose Edit, Assign Profile. Now you can see that this has selected Preferred Profile Vivid. Now, when we're doing this, if we click on Preview, you're going to notice the difference here in the colors. You choose profile, you can choose here, you can choose preview and see the difference between the different profiles, how that looks. Click OK. Now on top of the colors that you're seeing, you are also seeing the lighting from Real Shader. So those things play a role in how the colors look. Then you have the option of proof colors and gamut warning. These are now available. The gamut warning will show red if you have a color on the screen that's not fully supported in the profile. Here, when we turn gamut warning off, you know those colors are not uh, going to be accurately represented Let's go ahead and change that back. Choose don't color manage because I'm not looking at printing. And with that selected, notice proof colors and gamut warning aren't enabled because they don't have relevance to a non color managed canvas. If you have questions about color management or view at print size, go ahead and put those in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.